Many people were absolutely ecstatic when Nvidia had unveiled the RTX 3050, thinking that it would be a more perfect entry-level card for budget players. However, when the specifications were announced, several people had suggested that the previous model, the RTX 2060, could be purchased instead. The results were clear whenever the card was finally launched and testers had gotten their hands on it. So, after weighing both the pros and the cons, which option is really the best for you? Should you get the RTX 3050 or save your money and get the RTX 2060 from the previous generation? If you're curious, then stay tuned. The 6GB RTX 2060 is a graphics card from Nvidia's RTX series, which is based on the Turing architecture. Turing includes AI-enhanced graphics and real-time ray tracing, so as to provide a more realistic gaming experience in the future. The 2060 features 1,920 CUDA cores and GDDR6 memory bandwidth, of 336 gigabits. The card also has represented the best value for money amongst the RTX range, with a launch price of $350 for the Founders Edition and redeemed NVIDIA from their earlier RTX releases, which were ridiculously priced. Turing NVNC, which is significantly more efficient than CPU encoding and eliminates the need for casual streamers to need a dedicated stream PC, is also included in the RTX 2060. In fact, you can play pretty much all of today's major games at 1080p with the highest details, and the 2060 would be able to deliver more than enough for you at 100 plus FPS. The bulk of 1080p gamers, even those who play at 144Hz refresh rate, should be more than satisfied with this. With the RTX 3050, the NVIDIA Amphir R structure is used in the RTX 3050, and ray tracing is now essential on an entry level, with the 50 series cards for the first time. Second generation ray tracing cores can be enabled to for a more accurate light simulation, albeit performance will end up suffering. NVIDIA's DLSS technology helps to exploit the 3050's tensor cores so as to scale higher resolutions while maintaining the same high frame rates without sacrificing substantial image quality. The 3050 also has an encoder, or NVNC, for better imaging and smoother recording and streaming. Entry-level versions have an MSRP of $250, but marketed prices go for closer at $600. Many seasoned users have no desire to purchase AMD graphics cards, regardless of the price. AMD's Neanderthal marketing strategies have appeared to backfired, with millions of customers purchasing substandard products as a result of their brazen dominance of social media sites like YouTube and Reddit. High average frame rates are useless whenever they're accompanied by stutters, unexpected crashes, excessive noise, and a limited feature set, as experienced gamers know all too well. When it comes to raw power alone, the RTX 3050 has a much higher base and boost clock speed, clocking in at 1,545 MHz and 1,780 MHz respectively, according to spec sheets. The RTX 2060 has has a base clock speed of 1,365 MHz and a boosted clock speed of 1,680 MHz. Despite all of this, the latter still outperforms the former in terms of processing power, or TFOPs. With only 6 GB of RAM, the RTX 2060 can process 10,483 TFOPs in half-precision format. Whenever the values are then raised, they end up reaching 12,902 TFOPs. So, in terms of ray tracing performance, it can still handle 25.2 TFOPs. The RTX 3050, on the other hand, is limited to only 7,946 TFOPs in half precision format and 9,098 TFOPs when boosted. It also has a ray tracing performance of about 18.2 TFOPs, and the processing power of the RTX 2060 is 32% less than that of the RTX 3050. This performance disparity ends up widening to 42% whenever enhanced. And despite having fewer RAM and CUDA cores, the RTX 2060 boasts 38% more ray tracing capability, making it way more capable. When talking about the theoretical performance of a graphics card, though, it's measured by the pixel and texel fill rate. This parameter indicates how many pixels or texture map elements, pixels, that the card can render and store in memory in a second. The RTX 2060 boasts 65.52 G pixels and 168.8 GT pixels, compared to the 49.6 G pixels and 124.1 GT pixels on the RTX 3050. As a result, the RTX 2060 does end up rendering scenes and textures far faster than 3050. The RTX 2060's wider bus width also allows in superior performance than the RTX 3050, despite the latter's more VRAM. The older GPU even has 336 gigabits of memory bandwidth 
while the newer one only has 224 gigabits. As a result, the read-write rates are faster, allowing the card to handle much more data quickly. Despite the RTX 2060's higher frame theoretical outputs, it just doesn't matter if the graphics card cannot convert those numbers into actual frames. However, as we saw in the previous test, the older video card outperforms the new one, and several benchmarks results have shown that the RTX 2060 outperforms the competition in many tests. Lighting tests provide 114 frames per second, reflection tests 117, rendering 134, and particle system at 101. The RTX 3050 only managed 301, 86.6, 84.5, and 73.4 frames per second, respectively. The performance of the previous generation video card is in fact 35% better than the entry-level offering, and when both cards are overclocked, the disparity only grows to 41%. Now, while this might not have to do anything with gaming, let's talk about the card's capabilities with crypto mining. While the 8GB of VRAM on the RTX 3050 does improve performance, it also makes it more suitable for mining. When compared to the RTX 2060, which only has 6GB of VRAM, the RTX 3050 is a much better choice for crypto miners. Miners are a lot more likely to choose the RTX 3050 as a result, and the extra RAM can help aid in the raw computing effort required to mine Bitcoin, which, as a result, demand for the card is expected to rise. If Nvidia is unable to meet those demands, the market price of the RTX 3050 will rise, surpassing the SRP of the RTX 2060. So, if you do intend to use this GPU for crypto mining, then the RTX 3050 would probably be the best choice. Now, despite the fact that the RTX 3050 does have a cheaper SRP than the RTX 2060, GPUs are ridiculously costly in today's market. Just to give you a bit of a perspective, an Asus GeForce RTX 2060 can end up running you $390, while a comparable Asus GeForce RTX 3050 costs $435. When prices revert to pre-shortage levels, buying the RTX 3050 makes sense, especially because it costs approximately the same as the GTX 1660 graphics card, which offers worse performance due to their limited ray tracing functionality. However, under certain conditions, the RTX 2060 delivers higher performance and a much lower price than the RTX 3050. NVIDIA's standard port options for the 3050 do include a single HDMI 2.1 port and two display 1.4A ports. The RTX 2060, on the other hand, features an extra DVI and USB-C port. This helps to give you more alternatives, which is especially useful if you have an older monitor that only has a DVI connection. Other devices, not simply monitors, can end up being plugged into the USB-C connector, which allows you to upgrade any older PC to an only USB-A port with a new standard. While some might believe that newer is always better, this is not necessarily true. This is especially evident with the RTX 3050 and RTX 2060 graphics cards. If there isn't a GPU scarcity, then the RTX 3050 is a fantastic increase from the GTX 1650 and GTX 1060 GPU. It is a budget graphics card for gamers who can't afford the $330 GeForce RTX 3060. In terms of processing power, ray tracing capabilities, FPS, and connection, then the RTX 2060 just edges out the RTX 3050, plain and simple. Both GPUs are excellent at 1080p gaming, but they struggle at 1440p. The RTX 2060, on the other hand, does outperform the RTX 3050 at slightly higher settings. The RTX 2060 is the best option for most users whenever creating a PC. The 6GB of VRAM is only the shortcoming, so adjust your resolution and graphics settings in order to save VRAM and help to increase GPU performance. The difference between the 6 and 8GB VRAM isn't all that significant, although the 6GB should be sufficient for most games at 1440p. However, when playing graphically many games at 1440p, you might need to play at low settings to maintain a consistent frame rate on your RTX 2060. In most games, the FPS would end up dropping to 60 whenever the resolution is increased to 1440p. So that concludes the RTX 2060 versus RTX 3050 comparison. Thanks for watching today's video, and we encourage you to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Let us know what you think in the comment section below, and before you leave, make sure you subscribe to us. Until next time, folks, stay safe and stay informed.